This time on Brew 2 Review, we've got another quality brew from Lakefront Brewery. Um, this time it is a fruit beer. It is the Brandy Barrel Age Cherry Lager. Um, I was a big fan of their uh, Brandy Barrel Aged Pumpkin Lager last fall, so and I knew that they, they, uh, they do brew this. Uh, it must be during the summertime. So, been waiting to find it and try it out. Um, so, the bottle actually, here we go. Nice, cool cherry uh, bourbon, or uh, not bourbon barrel, brandy barrel. Um, right there on the label. Of course, really nothing else. It's got the custom to uh, you know these are custom colored to the brew uh, the label at the top there and then of course it's got the regular lakefront brewery cap um, this one's supposed to pour deep red with a thin lacy head and uh, have a scent of strong brandy overtones of fresh cut oak tobacco and red fruit. It's supposed to greet the nose followed the following uh, followed by notes of toffee and marzipan. And let's focus here. That would be nice. There we go. Um, the taste is supposed to echo the aroma with intense brandy flavors of wood, vanilla, and mild black pepper with tart cherry and toasty caramel malt in close pursuit and um, I gotta tell you I actually did um, I did just try to film a review with this I have tried it but the thing is is my nose was clogged before and now it's not and the reason I'm doing it over again is because my mic wasn't on so I might give it a little bit higher rating depending on how well I can taste it. I couldn't really taste it very well before. Um, anything else? So it does have a 10.7% ABV, so it's a little bit higher than your average beer. Actually, probably pretty much double your regular beer. And uh, it is a cherry locker, which is something different for a change. It's supposed to pair uh, really well with dried fruit. Um, Almond infused dark chocolate or a generous chunk of Aider Case Reserve Cheese. Never heard of that. Let's look and see what that is. Since we are in Wisconsin, this cheese is probably from Wisconsin. Uh, no, that's not happening, man. It's a it's a blue cheese. Not not a fan of blue cheeses, so we'll skip that. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack this open and um, give it a retry here. So yeah, the reason I said my nose is clogged, it is still a little bit more, still a little bit clogged, but. I do have allergies. It is the summer. Um, one thing I did notice last time and this time when I pour this, it is it is uh, noticeably red. But we can't really get it that well on the camera. Well, I mean a little bit. Of course, we've got the Lakefront Brewery glass. Cool. If you ever uh, have a chance um, and you're in the Milwaukee area, I definitely recommend going on their brewery tour. Just the standard tour will do it. Um, it's $11 a person. You get four wooden tokens. You can use those wooden tokens to get samples of beer. Uh, usually they're pretty generous sized. Um, they're not full pints or anything, but. Uh, Yeah, you can get those, and then you can actually um, 
at the end if you keep your cup your plastic little disposable cup you can trade it in for a real cup which is cool they also have really awesome um, unique recipe like beer or uh, not beer like lunch and uh, like bar snacks kind of really really good I actually have been there twice once with Sarah once with my parents uh, this last time that they went or they that they went <laughs> that they uh, came to visit so let's get on with this definitely you can smell the brandy and um, the cherry I can't really have it didn't before I wasn't able to taste the cherry very well Still can't taste the cherry. I've been eating cherries all day. It's cherry season. Um, Rainier cherries. I don't know. This just doesn't taste very cherry y to me. It tastes more brandy like uh, with kind of. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Yep, cherry. I got it. Finally. Kind of weird, I had to search for the cherry flavor in the cherry lager. Well, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 just because of that. Um, it is really high quality brew. There's, uh, you know, I was a big fan of New Glarus. Still am, which is another local Wisconsin only brewery. These guys do nationwide, but uh, um, these guys are starting to uh, really grow on me, the Lakefront Brewery, because they have a lot of larger variety than um, New Glarus does. Um, of course the Art Craft Brewery, brewery they do do uh, organic brews. Um, they're one of they're one of the first kosher breweries and um, first people to do gluten-free beer. Uh, the uh, Lakefront Brewery Grist, New Grist I think it's called. It's made with rice I believe. They actually had to go to Congress to make sure that it was okay to call it beer because it didn't have the same ingredients as beer. But they approved. Really cool. So yeah, 9 out of 10. Really, really, really high quality brew. Um, I definitely recommend if you see any like front, front brewery um, brew to try it out. Um... Don't forget the Adidas petition down below, and um, if you like the video, definitely give it the uh, good old thumbs up and share it with your friends. This is Sean. See you next time.